I just wanted to do a quick video on this uh, Hewitt Packard 5321A electronic counter that I just picked up on eBay. This is a 1971 model and it works just fine. And what makes this one pretty cool is, I um, just got a piece of metal here, um, is it uses Nixie tubes, which are a very, very cool form of display. This is just picking up the uh, interference and stuff and counting. Uh, an electronic counter simply counts the number of pulses into its uh, its uh, connection, and you can gate it and stuff like that. Like this has different settings and whatnot that I haven't really played around with. Let me get a couple of these lit up. There we go. Um, yeah, the, like I said, this uses Nixie tubes. Uh, there's five of them. Uh, there isn't actually a sixth one. Uh, my understanding is is there is actually a model that has the sixth one like the B or whatever or no I think it's an option for this one um, Nixie tubes are kind of like a special neon light uh, you can't really see it on camera I don't think but what's going on is it's a tube that looks like a, um, a vacuum tube with each digit as a wire in stacked in front and behind of each other so it just individually lights up one wire and that gives you the glow on that digit like if you look you can see how the two is further back from the five and it's actually got lines if you're watching this in HD it's got lines and stuff in front of it it's not as clear and it's set back because the other digits are in front of it so if I get like a I think six is the first digit there Oh no, there's something in front, uh, four. Four is the first digit on these tubes. Um, you can see that the fours are much closer than the twos. And they, uh, the eight is even, it might actually be behind the twos. Uh, so you get this, when it's, when it's cycling, you get this kind of waving motion from all the numbers. It's, it's actually quite interesting to watch. And... These are actually going way too fast. Uh, you might see it on that last digit. It actually goes back and forth, back and forth. And as you can see, the update rate is ridiculously fast. This actually has a check uh, dial to, to halt it, and then you can release it, and it will um, keep going. Uh, despite its age, it actually does have integrated circuits in it. Um, the uh, board itself is very clean on one side all the all the uh, components are upside down so the components are very clean on the other side it's actually very dirty just from years and years of dust getting in through the top here uh, I'm, I think I want to take this apart and like completely restore it because it is very cool I don't know if I'll be able to find like the big axial capacitors and stuff but um, I may just leave all the electronics as is. This is. You know, an electronic counter isn't something I need to use every day, but I just thought this was pretty cool, and I paid $25 or $26, including shipping for this off eBay. He did show it running. I figured the worst-case scenario would be i just take out the Nixie tubes. But, uh, yeah, it turns out it works just fine. Uh, I had it set to, um, or hooked up to a cheap uh, function generator, just sending it a square wave and it was uh, counting just fine. So uh, this, this is a pretty cool buy for not too much money and uh, yeah I've never actually seen Nixie tubes in person. Uh, you can see them in movies such as uh, Monsters Inc. Pixar likes to use them in, in the background and stuff. And uh, yeah they're, they're on a lot of older high-end equipment because they were quite expensive to produce and now They've got this like, you know, really cool retro look. So they've actually gone way up in price. Now they're like, I think to buy a new old stock one is something like 20 or 30 bucks per tube. And this one has five in it. So I figured it was kind of a neat purchase. They do wear out over time. They get dimmer. But uh, all the digits on this one seem to be working just fine. I haven't like gone through and checked each one like specifically, but... It does seem to, you know, I don't notice any weird blackouts or anything on it. Got an old, like, one, one megahertz reference in it. I believe that's its maximum input rate. 
and the options had like temperature controlled ones I believe or oven controlled but uh, this one is just basically it does have an option and I don't even remember what the option does uh, I did find the service manual for this thing. There's not too much information on this particular model. Uh, probably just because it's an electronic counter, not a frequency counter. You know, so that that could be it. That could be why you know people just don't have too much interest in it because uh, frequency counters are generally a lot more useful. Um, the main, they both do basically the same thing. The main difference being, let's say you're running a one megahertz signal into this. This would be incrementing up like this and not show one megahertz it would be counting all of the pulses where a frequency counter would show one megahertz and that's it it would just tell you what it's being sent over a given um, the, the current frequency whereas this counts over time how many individual pulses that signal has made 